Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY and today what we're going to be doing is upgrading these ramps. So the issues that we're having with this style ramp is that this plate steel um, just bolts onto a 2x12 and then it just is a lip that fits onto the trailer. Number one, the lip isn't quite long enough. It tends to slip back a lot, so we're gonna extend this a little bit more. And mainly, it is not thick enough. This is only eighth inch steel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna beef it up and we're going to use five eighths. Um, and that's gonna definitely allow us to drive the tractor up onto the trailer. Um, my Kubota tractor is probably around 2,000 pounds. Uh, maybe a little under um, and this is just not doing it for it uh, the ramp the board works just fine um, it's nice and short where the entire uh, tractor is not on this all at once um, just one wheel set is on at a time so once the front wheels are up on the trailer then the back wheels come up on this so it's only maybe taking about half of that weight but this is bending all the time and it just definitely doesn't work out so we're going to redo this and we're going to show you guys how to do that now okay so what we have here is we have our 5 8 inch plate set up um, we're going to cut it into strips of nine and a half inches because we have a 10 inch board that we're going to be putting it on um, so this is going to be pretty long how long the tongue is it's going to be fitting onto the trailer that way we don't have to worry about it slipping off with just a little bit hanging on there. So uh, we're going to cut these strips pretty long, about as long as this board is. And then we're going to cut those in half to get our angle because we have no way of bending this really thick stuff. So we're going to go ahead and cut this up into strips. We're going to be using our plasma cutter. This is Prime Weld's Cut 60. If you want to see a review on that that I did, go ahead and check it up right up here. Okay, so we have our two pieces cut right here to nine and a half inches wide. And we are sitting at uh, 23 and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is we're going to cut this at 10 and a half. And that part will go onto the board. And 13 inches will be the tongue that sits up on the trailer. Um, that is plenty of tongue to get up on the trailer. Um, we don't have to worry about it sliding off or anything, so I think that'll do good. And 10 inches on the board, we'll put four holes in this uh, for bolts, and I think that'll hold on just fine. So we'll go ahead and get these two cut up. So what we did is we marked the top plate. And then we just C-clamp two of the plates together and drilled our holes that way. It saves us a little bit of time and was a lot easier. Okay, so here's what we got. We have our two separate plates. The one down here is on the board that we're going to be using. Um, make sure that whatever board length you want, uh, you're going to put it on here because that's the length of that is going to change your angle a little bit. So we have our plate here on the bottom with our holes in, with our board. We have a uh, car jack underneath this just to support it um, perfectly in line with our top plate. Now this top plate is what's going to be setting up on the trailer. We have this elevated up on some cinder blocks and pieces of wood to get our correct height. That's going to give us the perfect angle to load up our tractor then. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run uh, some tacks on this and then just run one straight bead across here. So now what we can do is we can just drill down through our holes in our plate and put our bolts in. So 
So all we're doing on the back side here is we are putting a washer so it doesn't pull through the wood so easily and then just a nylon nut. We also added handles to the ramps, which made moving them around so much easier. All it is is a handle for a shed door, and we just put them uh, at the right spot where it balanced the board evenly, and it just makes them handling um, a lot easier. You can carry two of them easily at one time. All right, guys, so we got our beefed up trailer ramps on here. Um, these are the other ones that had bent. Um, this is that eighth inch steel. So as you can see, they are significantly beefier and they're also longer. So this part will rest on the trailer a lot better. Um, we also have our four bolts here. Um, probably the only thing I would change may be moving these down a little further from the ends. But where they're at right now, I think that'll be just fine. So got this thing all welded up these are going to be great loading my tractor onto um, they're going to be so much heavier and just be able to carry that much more weight i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that like button and head over to appalachian diy for more videos thanks again guys and i hope to see you next time <laughs>